Hey guys, it's Josh and I'm here at our brand new location. See this big flying field that we have? Over there is our building with uh, offices and you know, do some lots of cool work out of there. Uh, but we just wanted to show you this new place. Groundhog holes everywhere. Uh, but anyway, this is our new flying location. Oh! Hey guys. Guys. I'm Dave. This is Josh. And we are missing a Josh because yes. uh, he was supposed to be here. Yeah. But he was out there exploring the new grounds here and uh, I just got this message uh, right here. Our he friend is, is in trouble. Yes, he's in distress. It's an S-O-S. And I don't know what that means. I don't think it's going to shoot on sight, does it? What's no. Uh, I don't know. Just it means he's in trouble. Guys, I hurt my foot. Oh. We're going to take the 3D robotic hex. Yes. And we're gonna attach a care package to that. We're gonna take this and fly it through waypoints yes. out to where he is and he's gonna drop this and we're gonna save his life. Hey guys. Uh. We should get Chad to uh, to follow this. This would be pretty okay. cool. Hey Chad, can you get You guys want me to follow it yeah. with, my, with my hex? Yeah, yeah. follow with your hex, that looks kinda cool. So what we got here is uh, 3D Robotics and their amazing hexacopter powered by the APM 2.5. Now if you haven't seen the APM 2.5, we had actually had it on our H-Quad previously, but this is the full boat. This is amazing. It has a sonar in it, has the APM, it's their hexacopter. It's all just beautifully built uh, and really well done. But what we have here on the computer is by tapping into it, and we're actually wirelessly communicating with the APM right now, uh, we'll be able to pull this up. I'm just going to connect to the copter. All right. I put it out there with the cat package on it because we don't want uh, it to take off suddenly. Yeah, because what happens is uh, the position you put it in uh, when you boot it up is normally what's it's stored in. as yeah. home position. Yeah, you can actually have a trigger activated otherwise, but we don't have a program for that right now. Now, Dave, this hex has FPV all over it. It has the transmitter, camera, everything. Why aren't we using it? Because we want to fly it completely autonomous. It would be autonomously. Autonomously, it would be too easy just to go with the FPV. So okay. Uh, I'm going to show here how to set up a waypoint. All right, now this is all using the free software that's open source, right? Yeah, it comes. This is the software you set up your copter with and everything. Wow. So it's all integrated. Yes. Wow. So you go up to the flight planner and okay. you just click on the map here okay. and where you want it to go. Okay. And then to add another one and then another one and another one. And we're going to fly that pattern. Wow. So it's going to fly to one, two, three, and four in the match. So the in order is which number, and it can autonomously take off if you wish, or land if you wish. Yes. Gotcha. And then we're not going to probably do that because of the tall grass, right? Yes. Okay, we don't want it to get snagged. Yeah, so let's go and try to get the package to him. Okay. Why don't you delete all those little guys there? This As is so gets. cool. You know, we would have to actually walk out into that grass and hang on the care package. This is pretty cool. We can do this autonomously now. Somebody come pick me up, please. There's the copter it's yep. saying it's there. Where do you think he's at? Can you zoom in a little more? Yeah, sure. Zooming in a hat. Yeah. Do you think that's it? Oh, so is that the wood pile there? Yeah. Boy, it's hard to tell. Isn't that where it is around there? Uh, it looks pretty close. Now let's write that to the copter then, right. and let's let's go. So after you set your waypoints, you hit right. Yes. Uh, right. I see right. read waypoints, which is a history. Yes. And you read. read what's in the copter. Okay. And right is to write the new ones uh, into the copter. Now we need to activate the uh, the servo for it. To yes. Drop the care package. So We're, we can do that from the screen. All right. It's armed. Armed. That's yeah. good. Has a 3D fix. Has and you have it set to take off, right? Yes. So that's working. I'm gonna take it off. Nice. Now I'm gonna take it into. And off you go. All right. So it's going to go that way over to that waypoint, five meters per second. And it's okay. really easy what you just click on the map and it's going to go there. You can actually see it in real time where it is. So that's the waypoint we set, which right. looks I like it's, it's going to drop it pretty soon. Uh, no, oh, he's reaching for it. He's reaching for it. Help. Why are you just filming me? I need help. Is it above him? We sh shouldn't we go a little more to the left? Yeah. Oh, so you're going to actually right. activate the release. Oh, that, that looks perfect. Look at that. Look at that right there. Is it? Let's release it then. Oh, it's drifting a bit. It's being pushed. Tell me when. 
Uh, it's fine. We may have to nudge it over just a touch. Where do I need to go? All right, go to your left. To my left. That looks pretty close. You want to drop it? Yeah, just to drop it on. I mean, there you go. There's the. Oh wow, that's far off. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. That's horrible. Like a little prairie dog. Well, he looks mad too. Okay. Oh, he's crawling. He's crawling. It's good. Okay, I'm you gonna. You know what? Do you want me to go out there and get it and come back with yeah. you? Yeah. Again. Okay. Yeah. Hold on one second. Let's feel it. All right. I'm gonna fly this back to here. So it's currently flying home again. I'm gonna take it over. I'm gonna land it visually, which I think is a better idea. It was, this was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Now I'm going to check which orientation it is. Turn that around, kick it into normal mode, and I'm going to land it. There you go. We almost got a toe. Oh, almost? Was it toe? It was, it was close. Just get about a... I'll get right in line. Just about 20 feet over. Can I just change the battery roll real quick? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's good stuff. We'll wait for it. Hello? I just wanted to give her another shot and see if we get closer to you. You came out here. Well, yeah, the care package is out there, dude. I have to get it to you. You could have just picked me up. No, you wanted the care package, man. We couldn't get it to you. If you want to drop it right on your head. Do you know there's a coyote out there? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dead serious. He's, he's gimpy, though. He limps. Well, that makes two of us. So. Okay, well, we're going to try it again, okay? Please hurry. All right, so we're gonna try it again. You got it re relocated? Yeah, I moved it slightly. Another cool thing you can do is actually make it go in a grid pattern. Uh, what you do is you can draw a polygon okay. instead. So you right click and hit draw polygon? Yes. Okay. And then you go and you make a box here, for instance. Nice. And then you go to auto waypoint, you create a grid. Nice. Now, this would be great for someone that wanted to survey their land and everything. Yeah. So you have field, you could go to Google Maps, trace your land out, and have it physically map out your land. So now it makes. Look at that. Yeah, it's perfect. It makes it for you. You can have the camera trigger at the uh, certain intervals. You set the height and everything, uh, the distance you want between the waypoints and everything. And it just makes it automatically. And if you're using Google Earth and it has altitude set into it, it'll actually follow the terrain, won't it? It will. That's yeah. amazing. It's crazy. So it's going to stay the exact distance from the ground that you set. So all these waypoints will stop at each one of those waypoints? No, it will not stop. It's, uh, it's going to go there and you can add different triggers. Say we had a whole bunch of Josh Scotts out there and we want to drop care packages at one. Could you go to those triggers and physically yes. assign it something different? Yes, you can. You can add really simple, simply add. Just right click and... Yeah. Uh, I like that. Look at that. You can set the land at any waypoint. You can you even take... have map tools. You can measure distances. Instead of a waypoint, you can do do DD cam control. Okay. What does now, that do? That's going to trigger the camera when it gets there. Wow. And so theoretically, if you're at the right distance, you could have it kicking off at certain times and then yeah, really tape it all together and stitch it together. Yeah. That's cool. That has a lot of function too. I got to imagine a lot of farmers would love that. Yeah, definitely. Very cool. You know, Josh is still out there though. There's a coyote out here somewhere. I'm bored. And I think I'm laying on an anthill. Yeah. And off you go, little fella. Chad is following you like crazy. Yeah. Okay, it's like it's, it looks like it's going a little boo, but it's doing pretty good. It's doing really good. Oh, I like that. Here it comes. Drop it on him. Get it. Oh, that's not oh! bad. That's awesome. You guys missed completely. Oh! You got Run! In line with him, but you missed. Do I have to go again? Yeah. Run! Come on. Josh, I'm right here. What's he doing? Oh, he's facing it off. <laughs> Josh, literally, right here. I can. I can, like, hit you in the. You're that close. Can you just pick me up? Alright, help is on the way. You were you were right here. You were right. I was careful this time. 17 paces towards the tower from the lab with you. Yeah. And eight paces over. I thought we could use Chad. He's flying above us and he can yell close left. Brilliant! That's kind of cheating though, isn't it? No, we're using the technology we have available. Okay. 
Can I get a rubber band? Stop. Yeah. I have one of those butter fingers. <laughs> I'm really tired. Don't tell him, okay? No, yeah, that's fine. He never knows. You know what? I kind of feel guilty about this. It's all smashed up, too. <laughs> you want to give it back to him? I love this. Imagine how efficient this is. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. Except for all the running parts. It's a butter from Brawl, isn't it? Mmm, that's good. It is good. You want to give it to him? No, go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust that waypoint a bit. So you got that closer now? I think so. Arming? Arming. Taking off. And see you little fella. Okay. Wow, he's moving that whole thing. He is. Ooh, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? See, this time I walked right up to where Josh was to get the coordinates, so I think we're gonna be better off. Oh, another attempt, huh? This is great. It looks like it's way past. Bring it back. Come on, I'm right here. Does it look like we're in line? Yeah. Oh, you're above me. Yeah, that's good. Try that. Drop it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's making a dash. He's I think Yes! I think he's gonna, I think we saved him! <laughs> yes! Alright! Look at that, getting into his half-eaten Butterfinger, the Milky Way. What is this? This Butterfinger's been eaten! It's pretty hot out there, actually. We should put some water in there. Now, that's just a waste of water. Okay, so I'm flying at home. And I can either fly it from GPS waypoints okay. or I could just click on the screen and say go here. And that's the benefit of this wireless system, right? Because you yeah, can actually yeah. reprogram it on the fly. So what do you okay. think of the, uh, the Hex? It's really nice. 3DR Hexacopter. Yeah. Nice. It looks stable. You put it in landing mode right now? Yep. Now does the sonar get utilized during that time? Uh, no, I disabled oh, yeah. the sonar for now. Nice. So, yeah, it's... Uh, very stable. It is very stable and you could see how well it tracked on that straight to the waypoint even though it's crazy turbulent here it is so i think this is a, a success i mean totally. we saved him You'll he only had to crawl like 200 feet so is that it they're just gonna leave me out here you know a lot of people talk about the the hexes and they call them drones but yeah. I think there's a lot of civil uses for these things that are very useful. And I think we definitely demonstrated one of them. The possibilities are endless. Really and it's are. so easy to set up oh, on yeah. the software. It's crazy. And one neat thing about the system with the uh, Pilot Mega, their, their system's open source. So that means it's not just like a group, a small group of engineers that say don't want to acknowledge problems. If there's an issue... He's calling you. Oh, it's Josh. I'm still out here. Yeah, but we got Butterfinger now. I mean, did you see the Butterfinger? We even tasted it. It was good. Somebody somebody ate half of that. Well, no, not somebody. We both ate half of it because we wanted to make sure it was good. Yeah, it's not poisonous or anything. Yeah, it probably is poisonous is this anthill that I'm sitting on. So what was your problem again? My foot hurts. Oh, oh, I thought you said your stomach was empty. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> Why is he upset? I don't know. Josh, I mean, we put a lot of work into this. I think you should be more appreciative. You could have just carried me. Just dude, dude. Leave, leave him on the counter. Yeah. yeah. Okay, hold on one second. We're gonna get another plan going for you, okay? Yeah. Hey, do you got, got some more batteries charged? Yeah. You guys wanna find my head? Oh, yeah. yeah.